But those of you who may not know that Baphomet may blink, my name is Edgar Allan Poe. That's a fault on which to think. Were I not already there, these two would be driving me to the brink. I'm the guy who wrote the raven. Yes, every single word. Yet now two hacks most craven are giving me the bird. And by their awful misbehaving, they made me seem absurd. You see, my dear, it's really very elementary. A boon that's even better than being born into the gentry. You look at me like it's a plan that truly is eternal. But to myself, I hope to grant a life that's near eternal. How is it that you could think that I should be so glad, man? This even drives my thoughts to think I'm married to a madman. No one's meant to live a life that never ever ends. Tis not for you, no for your wife, no for your freaky friends. Hunger pains, I'm really a conformist. I like to eat and to repeat, my appetite is quite enormous. All things I do amaze me to stay in this filthy habit. Like now, for instance, I may have a nibble of my wife's Welsh rabbit. My wife may say, indeed, she made the stuff's not worth my spittle. But I am quick to rest assured I'll only have a very little. <laughs> How much less rabbit do I think a fitting meal for me? A most arcane conundrum, so let us pause and let us see. I know that gluttony is a sin, a deadly one at that. And though I'm no King Henry, I am most certainly no tax brat. Might be dead, oh great, you have survived. You ought to read it. Read it. Not until you take this note, do with it what you will. But so I might just win your vote, I'm sure it's not a bill. <sighs> now I'm awake, I guess we'll say that what is done is done. I'll read the note, but I bet like you it isn't any fun. A charlatan and a fraud What little mind he has is bent, you know He thinks he's a god He's up to something that I would dread I feel it in my bones And by the way, I've heard it said His real name's Willie Jones Before we check this out Although I don't say this often I am filled with doubt That this is not a coffin you see the hieroglyphics on this case, the lettering's correct. And if the box is out of place, the writing on it's something to respect. Let me take a closer look, at this I am no dummy. If I am not quite mistook, this is the name of our fair mommy. By Cheops, I believe I've got it By dint of my translating fame Where every I is dotted I'm sure I know this mummy's name It's all a mistake, yo, if you please That's how I've doped it out so oh, at my efforts do not sneeze It is huzzah that you should shout Such a thrilling find, a discovery I entered. 
as the paint will surely blow my mind. Imagine, if you will, the joy in which I will partake, but only if I'm found an honest boy, then that's the icing on the cake. Imagine, if you will, the joy in which I will partake, but only if I'm found an honest boy, then that's the icing on the cake. To gaze upon it, do I dare the things that lie before us? The words I say are just not there, I must get my thesaurus. Hoorah, hoorah, we be fair as though we had ants in our pants Cause for the first time anywhere, we are to have a glance I must say your antics disappoint me so from your friend Polliner, I expected treatment foul and low. The rest of you, as gentlemen, thus make out your lot, have fallen on the job and on your repute have a plot. Without you being pulled out, if it is indeed your intent to speak, unless your tongue has got the gout, or your vocabulary's too weak. If you were asked, then please do ask it. You may be shocked at what you learn. After you've robbed me of my casket, or let another fool go take a turn. I will try my very best to make my answers apt. But since you've stripped my bandage vest, my attention may not be so apt. Should I let my heart be the one to rule? No courting is a place.